Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug, and this is F Out, which is out now on catalog for a price of $2. Think F Zero and wipe out. It's F Out, but also top down overhead like Becker Machines back in the day. So, hop in here to a new race. There are two modes number one, time trials, and number two is going to be speed of light. Let's hop in here first with time trial. There are six different tracks and nine different ships to choose from with different stats attached to them, like acceleration, stability, energy, max speed, and whatever that last word is. I don't really know. It like mania ability. It's not maneuverability because there's no V in there. So I could not say. This ship has three of it though, and this one has five. So nine different ships. Let's hop in here with, I don't know, ship number seven. It is the A button to go. It is the D-pad to steer. There are turbo boosts on the track to watch out for. Obviously sand and or other things that slow you down on the track to watch out for. In the upper le left hand corner is your energy. Uh, that is zero. Obviously you explode and you're done. So don't be doing that and hitting the wall too much would be an issue. But yes, top down overhead like the old school micro machines back on the NES and that whole thing. Like that is a long lost genre at this point of games that controlled or looked like that in terms of the racing deal. But this one does not have any other ships on the track unless, unless you have your ghost to race against. Now, as far as I can tell, there are not any online leaderboards, but again, the game is $2. So keep your expectations in check on what is actually in here and what can be done at that price point. But in the meanwhile, we're already on lap two here, and we're gonna try to hit more of these boost triangles, and it's been rough thus far in actually hitting them and getting that boost. But yeah, it's, come on, man, look, I'm trying. The jump, I'm trying. I like the ship perspective here is nice, and there it is, finish in 110. Now, were I to hit retry, then immediately, the ghost of what I just did. So you can race your own ghosts and improve your high scores that way if you would like to do so. On the flip side, we have Speed of Light. And this you will notice, there are no stats on the ships because it is purely how long can you live with an ever increasing amount of speed. Three, two, so here we go, I've not played this, this track before, so I'm gonna start off real slow, real slow. And I'm not even hitting A here. It is purely steering this ship and keeping up your energy before you hit the walls to last as long as you possibly can. Uh, there's no break. There's no, like, A and B don't do anything. So it says, all right, how long can you last on this track as Morning. the speed rapidly increases to, at some point, an unplayable level as your energy just fades and fades and fades. So again, it's high score business. And to in terms of how long you can last, and uh, yeah, it's gonna get rough real fast. Certainly on that first track where it's an, it's an oval, easy enough. But here, where there's actually things to avoid, and it's Morning. gonna not even last a minute. Not even a minute. 46.36 on that. And of course, from that main menu, hitting that records button gives you your scores on both the time trial and the speed of light. But in any event, there's not much more to it than that. Uh, I am your host, Attack Select. This is F Out. Out now on Catalog. Two bucks. Link down in the description. Keep on cranking. More videos right here on this channel. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.